Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about microscope calculations because there's two different types of calculation that we need to do uh, when it comes to thinking about microscopes. So to begin with, I'm just going to draw a diagram of a microscope. So as a quick recap, a microscope is a piece of equipment that we can use that magnifies um, an image. Now, the reason why we want to magnify something is if it's too small to see with the naked eye. For example, cells. So we look down here, the eyepiece lens, and this is the objective lens. So we've got two different lenses which magnify the image. So first of all, here is the eyepiece lens, the bit that you look down. We know that this is this one because it goes next to your eye. So let's say this one has a magnification of 10, which means it makes everything appear 10 times bigger. Now the objective lens is this lower one here. It's the one that we use to look at the object. So that's why it's called objective lens. Now this one normally has a higher magnification than the eyepiece lens. Sometimes it would be maybe up to 40. Now microscopes normally have more than one objective lens and you could actually change them round, but at any one time there's only one in use. So the first um, equation we need to know, or the first kind of bit of maths with uh, microscopes we need to know is really easy. To find the total magnification, all that we need to do is multiply the two different lenses together. So the magnification strength of the two different lenses. So for this particular example of this microscope, I just need to take um, my magnification, my eyepiece lens, multiply it by the magnification of the objective lens. And nice and simply, that is gonna say that this microscope now is gonna have a magnification of 400. So it means that image was gonna appear 400 times bigger. Really, really simple. Now, the next part of microscope calculations that we need to know is this particular equation triangle. Now it's nice and easy to remember it because we can just remember this. I am, I am. I goes on top and am across the bottom. So we just read it from the top, I am. Now what this stands for is this. I stands for image size. Now that, what that means is how big is the image that we've, um, how big is the image once viewed? Not how much, how big is it in real life? Because A, that stands for actual size. So this is how big that, um, the thing is we're looking at in real life. And finally, M stands for magnification. So what that means, is how many times is that image being magnified? How many times bigger is it? So let's have a quick example. Let's, let's see how this works. So let's imagine I've used my microscope and I've got myself an image which is this big here. So I'm just gonna draw an image. Now what you might have to do is let's say we're trying to find how big this, um, this thing, and this could be a cell for example, but how big is this thing in real life? So what, I, uh, what I've got here is the size of my image. And let's say I'm using this microscope here. So that's my magnification. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to see how big this image is. So I could just measure this with a ruler. So this here is about 6.6 .6 centimeters in diameter. So what I then need to do is I then need to use this equation triangle to find the actual size. So just like normal, whenever I use an equation triangle, I cover the thing that I'm looking for. So I'm looking for the actual size, so I'm gonna cover that up. So what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to take my image size, which is 6.6 .6 centimeters, and divide it by the magnification. For this particular microscope, remember, because the eyepiece lens has 10 and objective lens 40, the total magnification is 400. So all I'm doing is 6.6, .6 divided by 400 in order to find my actual size. So then I just need to do this on a calculator, 6.6 .6 divided by 400, which equals 0 0.0165 centimeters. Now, what they might ask you to do, probably, probably ask you to do, is you might have to convert this to a different units. For example, micrometers. But I'm gonna show that in a different video. 
So just to summarize, to find the total magnification, you simply multiply, multiply the magnification of the eyepiece lens by the, multi mul uh, sorry, by the magnification of the objective lens. And in order to find the image size, actual size or magnification, you use this equation triangle of I am. Thank you very much.